complete the table uh, below to uh, calculate the cost of goods manufactured for both the Gargon company and the Pepper company. And we're supposed to do it from this trial balance information. And what we're going to do basically is fill in these three sections, direct material, direct labor, and overhead first for both of these companies. And we'll take the beginning raw materials inventory of $8,000. I'll just do one of these companies and you can do the other one so that uh, it's the same thing basically. Uh, so we'll look under the Gargon, uh, Garcon uh, column here and we'll see that the beginning raw materials inventory is $8,000. It goes first. Then you're going to add uh, raw material purchases of $38,000 and that would be from this piece right here. Uh, then we're going to add these two things together to get raw materials available for use, $46,000. This is just an addition here. Then we're going to subtract off uh, raw materials inventory at the end of 14.6, which will be this figure right over here, ending raw materials inventory 14.6, and we'll get something called direct materials used of 31.4. Then we're going to go uh, adding uh, direct labor of $20,000 and that comes from the um, stack right over here, $20,000. Now we're on to the overhead section. The overhead section will be, and they should be listed uh, on this finished product here in the order in which you find them on this little uh, sheet because if you don't, you may not get full credit for them on Connect. But we'll start with rental cost on factory equipment $29,000 and you can see that's the very first overhead item on this uh, set of uh, numbers here $29,000 then we have factory utilities and that's the next item that's the overhead item $7,000 uh, and then we've got factory supplies used $8,100 that's the next item down $8,100 Indirect labor, that's another factory overhead item, $1,250 that comes right here. And then we've got repairs on factory equipment, $4,780. And that's another item right below that. And then we'll have uh, a total factory overhead of these pieces combined, which would be $50,130. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the total of the direct materials used, 31.4, and the direct labor of 20, and the uh, total factory overhead of 50,130, add all three of those together, material, labor, and overhead, to come up with total manufacturing costs. In this case, it'll be 101,530, and now we're going to add the beginning work in process uh, inventory, which is $14,000, which was from over here. And we're doing that because we're assuming that the first thing that was done in this accounting period was to finish the old ending work in process from the last accounting period, which now becomes the this information right here, this beginning work in process inventory. And when we do that, we get something called the total cost of work in process of 115,530. And then we'll subtract off the ending work in process inventory of $24,000, which was the... Uh, Let's see here, where is it at? It's right there, ending work in process, 24000 And then we'll end up with the cost of goods manufactured of 91530 And that is going to go as a one line item uh, in a cost of goods sold section, which will then go into an income statement. So you need to see how the cost of goods manufactured and the cost of goods sold all fit into uh, an income statement. And if you'll stick around for the second part, you'll see that.